Hey, I'm Tim Davis, DevOps Advocate with M0. This week on Quick Tech, we're talking about Terraformer. Now, this project answers the question that I get more often than not of, I want to go to infrastructure as code, but I already have infrastructure out there. I need to kind of make files off of what I already have. Is there something for that? This is the project for you. With Terraformer, it was created by Google and originally just for Google Cloud, but these days it supports every major public cloud, other minor cloud providers, some specific infrastructure software, network, VCS, monitoring and systems management, and even some community tools. So there are so many different platforms that you can use this tool on to help work backwards, not from having to write the code to build the infrastructure, but taking the infrastructure you already have and then working backward to build those infrastructure's code files so that you can then start to make a, uh, a more DevOpsy type workflow with it and even possibly work towards a true GitOps workflow. So let's jump over into Azure, and we see here that I have some resources deployed. I have a resource group and everything like that that's already out there. So let's go ahead and create some infrastructure as code off of it. Let's go ahead and jump over into code here. There's a few things that we need to do to kind of set this up and make it work. I've got the Azure CLI installed. I've gone ahead and logged into my Azure account with it. Now, you'll need to go through and export some variables here so that Terraformer can work. You'll need your subscription ID, the client ID, the client secret, and the tenant ID. All of these can be retrieved from the Azure CLI. For more information on that, go check out the GitHub repository for Terraformer. I've already gone through and run that. We've also created a blank Terraf uh, init.tf file that's not really blank. It just has one line of provider Azure RM. That way we know that we need the Azure uh, provider files there. And we'll go ahead and run a Terraform init. Great. Now that that's initialized, we've got all of the Terraform files that we need for Terraformer to work. So what we're going to do is we're now going to run the Terraformer command so that we can then go through and pull that stuff. So if we look at the command here and we break it down, it's Terraformer import, which means it's going to create. Azure, we're telling it which cloud we want to use. Then we're specifying which resources we want to pull in. So we want virtual machine, disk, network interface, network security groups, resource groups, storage accounts, and virtual networks. Of course, you can tailor this if you want to point it at a specific resource group or anything like that. That way you can make sure to get exactly what you're looking for if you have a cloud account that's sharing everything. For us, we just kind of want to get a good starting point, so we're going to bring it all in. Now let's go through and run it. All right, and it looks like we're done. That's actually a pretty quick process there. So we notice now we have a new folder inside of here called generated. And each one of these is going to be the specific module of the resource that we pulled in. So if we take a look at virtual machine, not only do we have the virtual machine.tf file with all of the information, we also have the outputs file, the provider.tf, the variables, and we actually have a state file that's been generated based off of the current state. Now this is perfect and of course you may not necessarily want to have all of your modules broken up. You may want to, it just depends on what your strategy is going forward. But at least now we have a great starting point of we now have all of our Terraform files and active state for the stuff that's already deployed and we can now begin through to uh, take the next steps towards an infrastructure as code automation workflow. For more questions, problems, concerns, anything like that, feel free to uh, check out the GitHub for Terraformer. Uh, make sure to remember that, of course, this does support so many different cloud providers and solutions out there, so make sure to check and make sure if yours is supported. And for more tools and cool stuff like this, be sure to like and subscribe for more. See you next week. Thank <laughs> you.